Hello guys, I'm Khalifa Bayzid. I will give you this tutorial about the um, tick uh, scatter. This is the wheel actually. I have developed all functions and now we will activate one by one to see how uh, we did. So first, we did uh, I did um, robot function. So this is the sketch. In this sketch, I used <coughs> the arc with three points and also lines. Of course, uh, my sketch is not fully constrained, so you can add some uh, dimensions if you want, some constraints to make it black, fully constrained. As I told you, I used the arc with three points to create the part that uh, the contact with the, with, the, with, the, with the ground and also. Um, and the other part I used the, the lines. Here is the, the radius. And this is the function. <coughs> okay, now I will rebuild. So if you see the shape, it's uh, from one. Uh, I mean, the hole it's from one. It's a bit strict, and the other one it's a bit um, bigger because in order to fix the wheel with the base of the kick scotter. Now we create plane. So first we select the front plane, and then we uh, we create a parallel plane with distance of two. Dot five five uh, or sorry two dot eight eight. Then click OK. Now we go to this plane and we create a sketch, which which will be used for uh, the cut width. So let's edit this sketch. See how it's done. I use um, only lines to create it. So you can see this uh, horizontal line with a dimension of 0 0.03 millimeter on the right and on the left of the central plane. And another line with uh, an angle of 62 degrees. Of course, you can change it a bit in order to change the form of the cut that we will see a uh, few seconds later. And also, you can change this uh, dimension in order. Uh, it's the, the, the deepness, deepness of the of the cut. Now we we'll see the other the other sketch, which is the path that the cut will flow. Let's go in front, so perpendicular. So uh, I use the three the three point arc. So the first one it's uh, it coincides with with this with the surface that will touch the ground. Okay, and the other one it's a bit tricky, let's say. So I create um, this axis with 0 0.35 millimeters up from the right of the wheel and also from the other side, central line. And then I continue with the normal line with 0 0.60 degrees, uh, with 0 0.6 millimeters. And also you can change this uh, dimension. Let's see now the second uh, part. Let's say the left part of the wheel. Okay, now we are built. And finally we get this shape. Of course, if you change the, the form, you can change also this shape. Now it's easier. We just do a circular pattern around the axis of the wheel in order to get this shape, which is very similar 
to the one that I showed you in the beginning. Thank you for watching.